Hey, 15 stories, story number 23. This story is about uh, an encounter I had, an experience in the 10th grade. This is at a Catholic school. And from my perspective, I guess this is kind of how it went down. Uh, it's earlier in the morning and it's English class or a reading class or something like that. And I sit up front by the door uh, mind you, again, this is a Catholic school. I sit up front by the door, and there's uh, a couple, like, football players and stuff that are scattered about in the room. And it was a Friday where you could wear your jersey or you had to wear your nonsensical uniform. And, uh, well, I didn't play football or any sports, so I didn't have a jersey. And this is kind of where that uh, strange tribal clan cultural mentality comes from i guess but uh one of them cracked a joke and i laughed and he told me uh essentially shut up <laughs> what are you laughing at you know it was like oh what are you laughing at estrada and that's the last name of this guy and uh so I, you know, I tried to play it off and mind my own business, uh, I guess nerd up or, or whatever you call it, outsider up, uh, minority up, go solo. And they started throwing things at me throughout the rest of the hour. Oh, it was such a struggle. Um, I was outnumbered um, pretty, pretty heavily. <laughs> so after that class, though, then we had the, a play uh, in this little auditorium off to the side that, that we had to go watch. And so a couple of my friends, our acquaintances, you know, we went and watched and, and picked our seats first. Nobody taught me anything. You know, you'd think I'd know by now. But uh, I should have let the crew pick their seats first. But it didn't. And it went down just like the movies. I sat. They sat all around me. They talked smack to me the entire hour of this drama play. And so I knew, I just knew after this, like we all had books still and they gave us popcorn, I think. It, it was not, it was, it was nonsense. But anyway, so they like threw things at me the, the whole show um, and told me how they're going to kick my butt and what they're going to do. Uh, and this is, I, I just want to put, put this out there. These are your well-spent Catholic school dollars. Um, I'm going to, all right, I almost went down the rabbit hole, but I'm going to maintain. So, uh, yeah, after this event, my locker's like right outside down the hallway, right? I go back to my locker, dialing it in, dialing it in. I see the clan coming and the whole time I'm thinking whoever it is please let them throw a heavy hard right because <laughs> that was my only real defensive move that I knew at the time from Richard um, and that's what I was ready for and uh, so yep yeah, here they come push me into my locker from the back just like the shows just like the movies it's happening today right now everywhere Catholic schools and uh, so I turn around and so I drop my books because I didn't I couldn't get obviously anxiety and I turn around and I get a push and I'm like whatever something and uh, here comes the right and I duck it but then I slip on my books kids are all around rooting it on or whatever um and you know what here comes this big bully of a teacher uh i'm gonna throw no i'm not i almost threw your name out there this big monster comes up grabs us both takes us to the principal's office i mean heavy collar too like look, i'm 140 pounds all right maybe <laughs> And this big monster cut and heavy collars me. I'm like, get your giant dusty knuckles off of me. He takes us both to the principal's office. No explanation, no rehearsals, no nothing. Sits us down. Says, hey, you'll get your dinner. Yeah, good job, Catholic school teacher. 
And uh, we both, me and this kid, so we're sitting here waiting for the principal. And both of us in the same room alone. Just, Good job, Catholic school teacher. What are you getting paid for? Come on. This is 30 years ago. 30 some years ago. Um, so, the uh, yeah, he left us alone in there. So we're chatting. And uh, well, I'm like, what was that even about? And this kid, there's only one of them. He's like, uh, I don't even know. It just got pushed there. I'm like, I laughed at somebody else's joke and they encouraged you to fight me. <laughs> Good job, bullies. Catholic school. And uh, yeah, so we both, got, how am I going to get suspended for not getting hit in the face? Good job, schools, school system. Anyway, uh, I'm talking to this kid and come to find out he lives not too far out of my blocks. And um, we talk about how our dads both served in Vietnam and not really sure how this is going to go over with dad. Both of our dads were hardworking shop dudes. And... Uh, I knew how it was going to go over. This is the third time I've been suspended. Um, when I got home, I called my dad. And I'm like, Dad, hey, I'm home. I got suspended. And his reaction was, all right, we'll talk about it when I get home. And when my dad would get home, um, we'd have a peaceful chat. He'd be like, tell me what happened. And that's when he would talk to me about racism and hate in the world and how he got hurt for the same things, racism, hate in the world. Let's just say that, um, let's rewind this all the way back to early in the morning. Let's just say that When they laughed, see, I was always getting this kind of kind of uh, um, attention at the school, always, always. Um, but that's what you know pushed me to be who I am now today. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm very successful. I have several businesses. I have a ministry. I'm a happily married man after 18 years. I only received the Lord eight years ago. Up until eight years ago, I really wanted, I, I, I was not a good person. Um, but then Jesus, Jesus hit me and uh, wrapped it all up for me. So I forgive everybody for their actions. I hope they're doing really well in life. Um, I hope their marriages are successful. I hope their children are blessed and successful. I hope their finances are beyond blessed. Um, I hope you're saved. Uh, if you're not, dial me up. Um, we can talk about it. We can talk about how to get saved, how to, how to leave that hate behind, how to stop being the high school quarterback. Remember the day? I mean, if you're still going to bars and drinking and talking about remember the day, remember the day, how about think about the day that will come, think about the Lord, think about that day that will come, <laughs> not remember the day way back then, forget about that, that's all nonsense, all of it, that's it, that's all of the story got, oh no, the story got a little bit better, so we both get suspended, and because we find out where we live um, and it was hot out, we end up uh, hanging out. The whole time we're suspended. We're on the streets going swimming in swimming holes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Catholic schools, you got me to where I am. It was a rough road, but uh, man, boom, 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 boom. God bless.